One of the best things to do is be prepared. You can always do that in the air conditioning. And so I'm a personal fan of Twitter. I, I usually follow a lot of people on Twitter that are posting pictures of diseases that they're seeing. And so it might not be Twitter, it might be a newsletter, it might be uh, getting information from a company or a local agronomist. But before you walk into the field, you should have a good short list of things that you expect to be seeing. The second thing I, I do is I think about the recent weather. And so if it's been hot and dry or hot and wet or cool and wet, you're gonna have different diseases that could be showing up. So uh, here in the Midwest, if it's cooler or even has a lot of moisture early in the season, you're gonna be looking at diseases like white mold uh, as an example. If it's a little bit warmer, then some of the cool season diseases will back off and you'll start to see more bacteria pustule or some of the frog eye leaf spot, for example. So knowing what the weather has been over the last month or the last couple of weeks will give you an idea as to what to be looking for. And then the last thing I think about is, is looking at where on the plant is the problem. One of the most difficult things to do is identify a disease that somebody's taken a picture of or they just rip off the leaf and hand it to you and say, what is this? Because it doesn't give you the context as far as where is it at on the plant. Is it in the lower canopy? Is it in the upper canopy? Is there a root problem? And so really sort of digging in and, and sort of dissecting that plant and looking at the plant as a whole uh, gives you an idea as to what, what diseases are there. Frog eye leaf spot is a common soybean foliar disease in the south, causing yield losses of up to 30% during wet years. The disease primarily thrives in infested crop residue and spreads via infected seed and airborne spores. Seed infection is a common means of proliferation for frog eye leaf spot. It is mainly spread by spores produced on the leaves of infected seedlings. Spores become airborne and are dispersed by wind or splashed on nearby plants by rainfall. Although infection may begin at any stage of soybean development, frog eye leaf spot most often occurs after flowering. Typically, frog eye is seen in the upper canopy. Initial symptoms appear as small circular to angular spots on leaves, which resemble the eyes of frogs. They begin as dark, water-soaked spots and develop into brown spots. Visit cropscience.bear.us slash learning center to learn more about how additional best management practices can help soybean growers secure the best yields and return on investment. Always read and follow label instructions.